So by the end of this lesson, you should be in a position to calculate moment in a given question. And number two, we are also going to look at principle of moment. And in this, we are going to state the principle of moment. And therefore, by the end of the lesson, again, you should be in a position to state the principle of moment. Now, moment of a force. We defined moment of a force, and we defined moment of a force as the product of force So we defined moment of a force as the product of force and the perpendicular distance from the point of support to the line of action. And therefore, we were able to write the formula for moment as force multiplied by distance. And we say that force should be newtons, distance in meters, and therefore the SI unit for moment is newton meter. So we want to do some examples. We want to do some examples on calculation of moment. So examples, we can look at three examples. So you are told, find So we are told, find the moment of the force about point O. This is a point O in the following figures. So we start with the first figure here. A, we have the following. So we have this figure here. This is point O. And on this point here, we have a force. And the force is equal to 10 newtons. Then we've also been given this distance. So we have been given this distance as 10 centimeters. So that is the question. So we want to find moment of the force about point O in this figure. So as we can see, at this point O, and we are told that this is the, the pivot, so this is our fixed point, point O, and we have a force here. You can see that the force is perpendicular. From the point of support to the line of action, we have perpendicular, this is a perpendicular distance from here up to here. So we want to calculate moment, and we know very well that moment will be given by force, and force in newtons multiplied by distance, and distance should be in meters. So we have our perpendicular distance, 10 centimeters, and the force is 10 newtons. So our distance is 10 centimeters. We need to convert it into meters. We know that 100 centimeters make one meter, and therefore we just come and divide 10 by 100 to make it in meters. So we are going to end up having 10 newtons multiplied by 10 all over 100 meters. We can cancel this. So we end up getting our answer as 1 times 1, which is 1 newton meter. So our moment is 1 newton meter. And we have been able to get it from, we have our force here multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the point of support to the line of action. This is what we refer to as the line of action. And you can see the distance that we are using is the perpendicular distance. This distance is perpendicular from the point of support to the line of action. It's a perpendicular distance making an angle of 90 degrees. We can look at another example, number two. We are still calculating moment. So in part number B, we have the following figure. So this is our fixed point. We 
have point O here, and then we have a force acting on the opposite direction, and the force we are given as 30 newtons. We have also been given the distance, this distance here, the distance here we have been given as 20 centimeters. This distance is 20 centimeters. And we are told that this is the pivot. So that's what we have. We want to calculate the moment. So when we are told to calculate the moment, the first thing we need to write the formula for moment. So moment will be equal to force multiplied by distance. So we need to ask ourselves what is the force? We have a force of 30 newtons. Then what is the distance? And now, remember we are talking of the perpendicular distance from the point of support to the line of action. So we need to know where is our point of support? Our point of support is here. Where is the line of action? Our line of action is here, this line of action. So if I may ask you, what is the distance between the, or from the point of support to the line of action? What is the distance there? The distance is zero, because the force is being applied at the point of support, and therefore, the distance covered is zero meters. We can talk of meters, zero meters. And therefore, our moment will be zero newton meters, meaning that there is no turning, no turning effect. This can be seen whereby if you try to apply force on the hinges of a door, you apply force on the hinges. What is going to happen to the door? There is nothing. There is nothing that is going to happen to that door. It is not going to open, nor is it going to close. Because you have applied the force at the hinges, at the point of support. And therefore, the distance is zero. So our moment will be zero, meaning that there will be no turning effect. I think that that is clear. So finally, we can do another example. Number C, we have the following figure. We still want to calculate the moment. So that's what we have. And we have been told that the distance is 5 meters from this point here. This is where our pivot is, this point O. And we have been told that the distance from the pivot to where the force is being applied, you can see how this force is. Look at the force. Here we have the force, and the force is 6 newtons. The distance here this distance we have been given as 5 meters. This distance is 5 meters. We've also been given this other distance here. We have extended this from this point and we have been told that this makes an angle of 90 degrees and the distance here from this point all the way to this point, we have been given as 3 meters. We have 3 meters. And now we want to calculate the moment. So you can see in our case here, we are having the point of support here. We have the distance from here to this force. But this force, as you can see, is acting in this direction. So you can see that this distance from here up to here is not the perpendicular distance. From the point of support to the line of action, our perpendicular distance is this. This is the perpendicular distance. So we are going to consider this perpendicular distance from the point of support 
to the line of action. This is the perpendicular distance D. So make note of that. So the distance that we are going to use is the distance which is perpendicular to the line of action. So we need to calculate this D. We know that uh, these are right angled. We have five here, we have three, and we have this sign. So then the, the, that means that this is our hypotenuse, five. Then we have one of the signs as three meters. We want to get D. So using the Pythagoras theorem, we'll have that five squared will be equal to three squared plus D squared. So we are going to have this as 25 equal to 9 plus d squared. So when we make d squared the subject, we are going to have that d squared will be equal to 25 minus 9, which is 16. So our d squared is equal to 16. And therefore, if we have d squared to be 16, then we can find the value of d. So d squared is equal to 16. We find square root on both sides. So our d will be equal to the square root of 16, which is 4. And in our case, we have it in meters. And therefore, we can now come and calculate moment. So moment will therefore be equal to force multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the point of support to the line of action. So our force being applied is 6 newtons. And the perpendicular distance, we have gotten it to be 4 meters. And therefore, moment will be equal to 24 newton meters. Is that one clear? So when you calculate moment, you need to remember that we use the perpendicular distance from the point of support to the line of action. And moment is given in newton meters. Again, if you look at this example here, when you apply force to the fixed point, or you apply force on the fixed point, there is no turning effect that is going to be obtained. So that's why in our case here, if the force is being applied at the same point where the pivot is, then we are going to have a moment of zero, meaning that there will be no turning. And that's why we were saying the more the distance from the hinges, the more the moment. And simply when we talk of the more the moment, it simply means the more the turning. And that's why we were saying that the, the hinges of a door are placed as far as possible from the handle or from where you open the door from so as to lead to more turning because the moment will be more. And that's why there will be more turning of that door. So that is on moment. You can get more questions on moment and calculate.